Do you want to know how to hover your finger over a photo or other area on your Samsung Galaxy S5 and see more about that item? I'm Josh Smith with GottaBeMobile.com. I'm going to show you real quick how to use air view gestures and some different motion features on the Samsung Galaxy S5. Now what you want to do is pull down your notifications, go into settings, and once you're in settings, scroll down until you see this motion and gestures. It's towards the bottom, and you're going to want to go to air view first. Toggle this to on, and as you'll see, you can hold your finger over different things without touching your screen and see more. The places I use this most are gallery and calendar so that I'm able to see something without having to go in and figure out what that is. I don't have to tap it all the way to get a preview. I can quickly see, okay, yeah, that's the photo I want, or no. Actually, I want this photo, and I'm not touching the screen when I do that. The other thing you can do from a very similar spot in your settings is motion and gestures. Now you can turn on the things you want. Air browse is something you can use gestures and move your hand around like that. That's something that not a lot of people use. But direct call will allow you to basically pick up the phone and hold it up and you'll answer your call. Smart alert, when you pick the phone up, it'll vibrate to let you know that you missed some type of alert. Mute pause, you should be able to flip your phone over and basically mute that. And then palm swipe to capture is a way to take a screenshot if you time it just right. But it's actually easier to use your power and home button to take a screenshot. You can head over to GuideMeMobile.com to check out more of our Samsung Galaxy S5 tips, tricks, and hidden features.